Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be telling you all how to pick out the most healthy beta possible from the pet store. And these tips may not work for everybody, but I found they work the best for me, and I've picked out several healthy betas thanks to them. So I hope you enjoyed the video. So along the way I'm also going to be showing some clips of a few pet store betas I found that I really liked or that are examples of the things I'm talking about today. So hopefully that helps you out a bit. The first tip I have is to look for clear eyes in your beta fish. A lot of beta fish in pet stores um, may have cloudy eyes or may have pop eye. You can look that up separately, but they may have eye problems because they are kept in dirty water for long periods of time. But it's just something to look for if you want a healthy beta. Another thing to look for is whether or not the fish is responsive. And when I say responsive, I mean active and is able to react to you either putting your finger up to the glass or being put next to another beta in another cup. Usually when your beta fish is responsive, it's a sign that your beta will be active in the tank. Another thing to check on your new beta um, is their body, and when I say their body, I just kind of mean like every part of them except for their fins. Check if their colors are bright, because if they aren't, then that could mean that they are ill, or check to see if there's any fungal infections on them. Like I said before, beta fish are kept in dirty water for long periods of time in the pet store, so it's possible that they could get fungal infections. And lastly, you should check the beta's gills and fins. Are their fins teared? Does it look like they have fin rot? Is the beta fin nipper? This isn't a huge problem, but it's just something to take into thought. And when I say check their gills, I just mean check to see if they are inflamed, are their gills red? Um, is there any bumps on their gills? Are they laying flat? I would say look for a beta with gills that are laying flat. Maybe hold them up to your face to check to see if they're breathing normally. Just things like that. And also before I end the video, I'd just like to mention that these are my two new beta fish. On this side, this guy's name is Dale. And on this side, his name is Gibson. Currently these guys are living in a five and a half gallon divided tank and my two other boys are living in a 10 gallon divided tank. My next video is going to be a tank tours video, so look forward to that, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys!